Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamber.com. If you're joining us right now, you're joining us in video three in a three-part series. So this is my September make and take offer. It's good today through September 18th. If you place an order of $70 or more using the host code on your screen, MarissaAlvarez.Stampin'Up.net, I will send you the packet to make these three projects. So video number one, if you missed it, is linked below. This thing's a bunch card, it's a standard eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter it's a standard card that was video number one video number two was this adorable little treat pocket and it holds these rip van waffles i found these two packs through waffles at costco and they're just the perfect little treat for this packet and then today's video our third project in the make and take offer is this fun fold it's a pocket card all right, let's get started. And we're gonna start with our card base, Sahara Sand. And this one is five and a half by nine inches. We're gonna score this using our Simply Score tool on the nine inch side. These measurements are gonna be real familiar to you once you see four and a quarter and eight and a half. Now let's work that with a bone folder and we're gonna add a little excitement to our background. All right, we can go ahead at this point and close up our pocket. So to do that, we're gonna run adhesive down this half inch glue flap. And then we're gonna run down the left hand side of our open card we can stop about a half inch past the fold. All right, now we're gonna peel the liner and fold up our card pocket. And now we have a really cool standard size card. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. But it's got a little pocket on the side for your pull out tab. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? It still fits in a standard envelope, just adds a little bit something different to your card making. Now, to add a little excitement to our background, we've got a cool fold. Now we're going to get some mini grid paper here. We wanna protect our surface because we're gonna stamp past the edges. Make sure we've got our open side on the right and Memento Tuxedo Black ink. My little spatter stamp here is a favorite of mine. We are using the spatter from Quiet Meadow. We're also using the butterfly from the Coordinating Meadow dies. So if you haven't um, checked those out, they're still available and I believe still available with a bundle discount. All right, let's go ahead and stamp little spatter off the bottom left and I like to make it just a little bit wider by adding that tail again and then off of the top here and again I'm gonna flip my stamp and make this a little bit wider by getting back in here with the tail I love the contrast of that spatter it just kind of sits in the background but it uh, breaks up that solid Sahara sand. All right, well, we've got the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Let's grab our Stamparatus and a couple of bits of cardstock. Got my Thanks a Bunch stamp here and some Sahara sand cardstock. I'm going to pop this strip into my Stamparatus and hold it down with the magnet and to get a darker impression on the word bunch i'm going to ink and stamp and then re-ink and stamp and the reason is i'm finding on the sahara sand which is a little bit toothier than basic white i'm getting kind of a sketchy image and it's primarily on the word bunch because it's um, a, a, a thicker font. It's a wider 
uh, like a brush stroke font. And so if I ink and stamp two times, then I get a very nice solid thanks dot and the bunch is nice and solid too. And we're also going to stamp the inside of our greeting. This is basic white. And this piece is four and five eighths by three and a quarter. It fits perfectly inside of the die cut that we have here. This is for the, for the card pull out. It's the largest rectangle from the scalp contour dies. Now, if you get the make and take kit with your $70 or more purchase using the host code, we're going to cut that out for you. We won't weed it for you. <laughs> um, we're going to cut that for you. And this little piece of four and five eighths by three and a quarter will fit nicely on there. So let's go ahead and stamp our inside greeting. So on the outside, it's going to say, thanks a bunch. And on inside, it's going to say, congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. I know a lot of people who constantly reach a whole new level of wonderful. And what I've found with this image on the basic white is even though it's got the two different fonts, I don't feel like it needs that ink stamp ink treatment. And I think it's just because the basic white is an extra smooth cardstock. It's made for, for stamping and you know line images and coloring. So. I think that's the difference, but let's go ahead and adhere that down for the inside of our card centered. And we'll set it aside for just a minute. While we're stamping, if you've been watching the series, you know we've got So Saffron and So Saffron ink. We're going to do our sunflower, So Saffron and So Saffron. I love that image. My goodness, I love this stamp set. So our fun here with this make and take packet is really taking this um, stamp set, the Celebrate Sunflower stamp set, and combining it up with the brand new host reward designer series paper, the Celebrate Everything designer series paper. Take something brand spanking new with something that's been around for a little while that you might have and bring it together to make some awesome projects. That's kind of the idea here. If you get the make and take packet, you're gonna get that stack of paper in your packet. You're gonna get a nice little sampler of that host exclusive paper that has two each six by six sheets. So there's um, 12 pieces, or there's 12 pieces of paper. There's two patterns on each, one on each side, and you're gonna get two six by sixes, so 24 sheets. Uh, of designer series paper and it's a host exclusive so I hope you'll enjoy that little sampler you're gonna want more though and you can earn this celebration you can earn this celebrate everything designer series paper with your order of $150 or more you can't buy it but you can earn it for free using the host rewards so we're gonna run our sunflower and die cut that. We're gonna die cut our sentiments. I'm using the seasonal labels dies. So I took the label, long skinny one, and the thread hole for the tag, and I taped them together with some um, low-tech tape, a little washi tape, and I'm gonna cut out my greeting. If you get the kit, we're gonna cut these tags for you just in case you don't have this die set. You'll just stamp on your tag. And then let's see what else we can run. I'm gonna try and run as many as we can in one pass. I got early espresso and our sunflower details. We got some, got a piece of basic black for my flower center. Get that. And I'm also going to try to run my Old Olive and Pear Pizzazz in this run too because I'm gonna need two pieces of, you're gonna need two leaves for this project. So you're gonna have to run this twice. I've put a little bit of adhesive, um, the adhesive sheets on the back of my Old Olive so that my detail leaf will come out self-adhesive. And then I've got my, my solid leaf in pear pizzazz is going to go without adhesive. It doesn't need adhesive on the back. 
All right, I think I've got it loaded up as tight as I can get it for this pass. Let's give it a crank. All right, let's pop these out. We're gonna run another pass. And in our second pass, we've got our little butterfly. We're gonna run that with a scrap of vellum. We're gonna run the detail sunflower again. This time we're doing, we're gonna run the detail sunflower again. This time we're doing crushed curry with adhesive on the back. And now I've already done one of my two layer leaves. So we'd run that again for our second pass so that we could have two leaves. But for the magic of television, I already made one ahead. All right, let's get this out of the way and assemble our sunflower. Going to remove my sunflower from the die. And then I'm going to remove that sunflower from the die. Let's roll the edge of this, just on your thumb, no need to pick or scratch at it. With any tool or your fingernails, you just roll and then peel the cardstock one direction and the adhesive liner the other direction. And if you do that, you should end up with this delicate die and it's mostly weeded for you and ready to go with all the little negative spots pulled right out. See how easy that makes it? Love this product. All right, there's just two little spots left in. We'll pop those out and into the trash. Now let's line up using our curved petals as a landmark. Got curved petals here. If you line those up first and then stick this detailed layer, it'll line up perfectly, the adhesive. It's all adhered nice and easy. Next we've got our early espresso sunflower and that little dude we're going to cut just the center. So we'll pick an area and just snip the petals. As you snip the petals you knock the die cut negative piece away with the scissors and you'll get a gorgeous dark textured early espresso center. See, snip and knock it away, snip, and you'll just go around the center like such. I love the dark two-tone center with the early espresso around the outer and the basic black for the inner. You get a really cool sunflower effect this way. Let's glue this guy on with liquid glue and we'll do this little guy right here with a dimensional. If you've been watching this series you've seen me do this trick a couple of times but I just love it and maybe you're popping in at the end of the series. If you've got a die cut that's stuck in the die you can grab a piece of washi tape, stick it to the die cut, pull the die, there's your die cut. Nice easy way to remove stuck images out of the die. I'm going to glue my early espresso outer center with liquid glue. And let's see if I can line that up. And then my inner center, I'm going to use my favorite basic black Stampin' Dimensionals. I love these Stampin' Dimensionals. You get two sheets of this regular size Stampin' Dimensional and two sheets of the minis all in one pack. And when you're doing something like this where it's black center, if you had white adhesive, it would show through those little pierced holes. It would show from the side of the sunflower. So they're not just for Halloween. They really do come in very handy. All right, what do we want to do next? I think we have a couple of layers here that I want to adhere to the card front. We've got a die cut. This is the second largest from that same scallop contours dies cut from basic black. And we've got a piece of designer series paper. This is a celebrate everything designer series paper that I showed you earlier. This is two and five eighths by three and seven eighths. We're going to adhere 
the designer series paper to the scallop cutout. And then we're gonna pop the scallop cutout with some dimensionals. I couldn't resist. We're gonna have a little bit of double dimensionals here because we've got the dimensionals under this layer and the dimensional under the flower center. But I couldn't resist the pop. And again, nice black Stampin' Dimensionals. So when you look down the side of my card, you don't see any glaring white little spots. It's just a little bit cleaner that way, I think. And you get a good value of both sizes in these black Stampin' Dimensionals. If you're looking for some things to add to the order to get to that $70 plus for your host rewards, check out the black Stampin' Dimensionals and the adhesive sheets. We're using some awesome adhesives in this project. All right, we've got our little dude on center. We've got our pull out message. Now let's add the little edge so that it's easier to pull. And we're gonna do this swoopy circle. We're gonna punch that from some basic black. This will be punched for you if you get the kit. We do the punching, we do the scoring, we do the die cutting, unless it's the sunflowers, that's one's on your own. Um, then we're gonna emboss this. So you see that we've got some more wood grain texture there. It's the rings this time. I think it's just kind of a nice coordination with our exaggerated wood grain texture from the Celebrate Everything. I'm gonna pop this into the tree rings, this hybrid folder, and then in that biggest ring, pop it on number one. Over the top goes number four, and we'll give that a crank. It's gonna add a cool texture that has a nice tactile grip when you grab that edge to pull your card. It's just a simple little detail that makes the whole thing cool. All right, get this back in. Now I'm going to fold my swoopy circle and you'll notice that it's got kind of rounded circles this way. It's got kind of pointed circles this way. So you want the rounded ones at north, south, east, and west and then fold in half. You can do it with the pointy ones at north, south, east, and west too, and you get a little bit different look. But get that folded. And you don't really wanna use a bone folder or your fingernails, because you don't wanna flatten that cool wood texture. So just give it the best crease you can without flattening out that embossed you want to put some liquid glue on both sides and then add this to the edge of your little pull out tab. Now this is a really fun textural element. You're going to feel that when you go to pull the little card out of the pocket and then it reinforces with the little wood grain texture. All right, back to our sunflower. We can adhere that to the card. And again, we're gonna do it on liquid glue on the center of the sunflower because we're gonna add little leaves and things underneath. And let's see, how do I want that? I think about there, a little bit high of the center, a little bit left of the center. Got a scrap of old olive and the bow punch. We're going to punch two of these little bows. You can here if you want to just snip the stems a little bit short. It just gives you a little more room when you're putting them under your sunflower. I'm gonna add one and you wanna keep it within the bounds of the card here. So don't go past the edge. And then another one, it's gonna extend down into the corner here. And then our leaves, we've got one that's already assembled. Let me put one, the other one together. For this second one, we're gonna just pop that right out of the die. 
and then peel like we did our sunflower cardstock in one direction and the liner in the other direction all these little bits just fall out adhere the olive to the pear pizzazz it makes this detail so easy I'm a good gluer and don't mind gluing but that just makes it so easy all right now our little leaf here on the bottom of our sunflower hangs off the edge of the scallop the scallop you remember is on dimensionals so let's trim a little bit from the edge of our dimensionals we're going to pop a little bit of dimensional on the end of that leaf just to give it some support I really do love these sunflowers. I'm so glad to have them out again and using them with the brand new host exclusive Celebrate Everything Designer Series paper is a fun way to bring brand new together with something that might be tried and true from your, from your collection. So I really do hope that you're enjoying this series of products or series of projects. We're gonna add a linen thread bow to our tag. It's going to be a nice loopy bow leave the ends curly big ears long tails don't handle it too much let it stay kind of curly and whimsical and we'll adhere that with liquid glue let's find that vellum butterfly that we cut and we'll Fold up the wings, add a little liquid glue to the body, just a dot where you can hide it because we're going to add the opal rounds. Bring in my opal rounds. Just a few left here. I love the sparkle that these bring. They're a clear drop embellishment. They're really round. Um, they're a little bit tall, but they have this um, glitter inside that's iridescent and just throws like opal fire. It, they're really very cool. All right, I'm got one on my butterfly. It covers the adhesive. And then I'm going to add a couple more big ones and small ones. Going for a bit of a triangle pattern here triangle placement yep I love the rainbow fire that these embellishments just add to this kind of neutral design so cool all right you guys there it is there is our pocket card fun fold card third in our series kitchen table stamper make and take offer now, if you don't have an order for me, that's okay. The uh, extra packets will be available for purchase in the Kitchen Table Stamper Store. The packet is yours free with a $70 order as long as you use the host code. You'll receive a sampler pack of the Celebrate Everything Designer Series paper and all the materials you need to make the three projects. If you've got any questions about the offer, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com to take advantage buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net and click shop don't forget the host code and don't forget to check your mailing address the stamp the address you mailing address you have on file with stampin up is where we will automatically send your make and take packet all right you guys have a great day i hope you enjoyed this series and i will see you in the next video